Hey everyone, today we're out here again with the Model 3, and in this video we're going to be talking about trunk capacity. A lot of folks have had questions about this, about the trunk, and does the cargo figure for this vehicle, 15 cubic feet, include the frunk, or does it not include the frunk? Tesla has been not very transparent about this at all. We've actually sent them a bunch of emails. None of them have been replied to. I've called their PR person, no replies there either. So in this video, we're gonna do a very quick unscientific test to find out whether that 15 cubic feet includes the frunk or not. I suspect that Tesla is not telling the truth about the 15 cubic feet combined figure. I think that it's 15 cubic feet back here alone and then some more cubic feet in the frunk. The reason for that is all the various things that we've been able to stick in this trunk. This trunk feels bigger than 15 cubic feet. For instance, I had no problem fitting these child seats right back here. Or these five 24 inch roller bags. Let's take a look and see how they fit. If I pull up this lid off of the cargo area load floor, toss that aside, remove my California duster back there, I can fit one of these 24 inch roller bags completely underneath the trunk floor. And that's a pretty big deal when we compare this to other luxury cars out there. I can then go ahead and start inserting 24 inch roller bags. I can fit them in that upright position right there like that one. And then number four can fit right like that and the trunk will just barely close. It does require a little bit of effort, but that's one more roller bag than we can fit in most compact sedans. Now, unfortunately, the frunk is just a little too small to fit one of these 24 inch roller bags in there, but you could fit a 22 inch carry-on sized bag up front. So this got me thinking, what if we just measured things out and our raw numbers, not including all the nooks and crannies and little cubbies back here, plus the frunk equaled over 15 cubic feet. Let's find out. Our quick and dirty measurements back here revealed something very interesting. Calculating out just the trunk, including the underfloor storage space, I got 19 cubic feet and I double checked that. Even if you count for a little bit of loss because this cargo area is not perfectly square back here, I think that's by far offset by the fact that I didn't factor in the storage areas that are on the side. There's a little bit of a bump out over here and then there's a bump out over here on the left side as well. The underfloor storage area, where again I was able to fit one 24 inch roller bag, appears to be good for a little bit over three cubic feet of storage area. So I suspect that the 15 cubic feet for the Model 3 not only does not include the frunk, I suspect it may not include that underfloor storage well either. That's probably why this vehicle was able to accommodate more roller bags than many of the compact luxury competition. Meanwhile, my rough measurements of the frunk yielded 2.3 cubic feet of overall storage capacity. That's a little bit higher than the 1.7 that had been claimed. If you're wondering about the Model 3's cargo capacity, either this video has helped shed a little bit of light on it or it has caused even greater confusion about the cargo capacity numbers. Again, one unfortunate thing is that we don't have very good information on a lot of specifications for the Model 3 because Tesla doesn't provide quite as much information in quite the same manner as other car companies out there. But I think unquestionably this trunk and the frunk up front combined give us more cargo capacity than you'll find in any other compact luxury sedan.